Hi, this is Alfouzi Anihar from At Home Tuition. Welcome to our session today. The topic that we are going to discuss in our today's video is Arithmetic Sequence Formula. In this video, we are going to discuss how to write an explicit formula for an arithmetic sequence and how to write a recursive formula for the arithmetic sequence. We can think of an arithmetic sequence as a function on the domain of the natural numbers. It is a linear function because it has a constant rate of change. Am I right? The common difference is the constant rate of change or the slope of the function. So we can construct the linear function if we know the slope and the vertical intercept. So this is the formula a n is equal to a or this can also be denoted as a1 plus n minus 1 d. Where a n is nothing but the nth term of the sequence and a1 is the first term of the sequence and d is common difference. So in case if you want to find the y intercept of this function, we can subtract the common difference from the first term of the sequence. Okay. Please consider the sequence. Okay. The common difference here 200 to 150 is 50. I mean negative 50. So the sequence represents a linear function with a slope of negative 50. Am I right? If you count, check the difference between these numbers, you can see that the difference is common. It is negative 50. So a function with a slope of negative 50. To find the y-intercept, we subtract negative 50 from the first number. First number is 200. So 200 minus negative 50. That would be 250. Am I right? You can also find the y-intercept by graphing the function and determining where the line that connects the points would intersect the vertical axis. So that is one way of finding the y-intercept. If you are just going to identify the numbers and find the y-intercept, you can just subtract the common difference from the first term of the sequence. Hope you got this concept. Okay. So this is the explicit formula for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times d. So now let us see how to find the, write the explicit formula given the first several terms for an arithmetic sequence. We just have two steps. First step is to find the common difference. Common difference is nothing but second term minus first term and then substitute the common difference and the first term into this formula. So this is how we can write an explicit formula when several terms for an arithmetic sequence is given. Let me show you an example and help you how to use these two steps to write an explicit formula. So here is an example. Here is a sequence given write an explicit formula for this arithmetic sequence. Our first step is to find the common difference. The common difference can be found by subtracting the first term from the second term. So d is nothing but a2 minus a1. a2 here is 12 and a1 is 2. So d would be 12 minus 2 which is nothing but 10. So the common difference is 10. Now let us substitute this common difference and first term. First term here is 2 into the formula and then we can simplify. Here is the formula, replace d by 10 and a1 by 2. Now you can distribute, so 10n minus 10. Combining the like terms we would get, we have got a formula. So this is the explicit formula for this sequence. Hope you are clear with this example. As I said earlier, you can also graph this. The graph of this sequence will show you a slope of 10 and a vertical intercept of negative 8. Okay. You can try this step. You can graph the sequence, sequence and check whether you are getting the same slope 10 and a vertical intercept negative 8. And you can send your feedback in the comment section. So just two steps. Find the common difference and identify the first term. Plug in those values in the formula. This is how we get the formula. Explicit formula for any arithmetic sequence given. Hope you are clear with this example. Some arithmetic sequences are defined in terms of the previous term using a recursive formula. The formula provides an algebraic rule for determining the terms of the sequence. A recursive formula allows us to find any term of an arithmetic sequence. So we use recursive formula to find the missing term using a function of the preceding term. Each term is the sum of the previous term and common difference. Okay. So here is the general note for recursive formula for an arithmetic sequence. The recursive formula for an arithmetic sequence with a common difference d is defined as an is equal to an minus 1 plus d. 
you should also check this condition n must be greater than or equal to 2 now let us discuss how to write the recursive formula given an arithmetic sequence we have just two steps first step is to subtract any term from the subsequent term to find the common difference and second step is state the initial term and substitute the common difference into the recursive formula for arithmetic sequence more or less the steps are going to be the same if you uh, see this example you can understand the difference between both formulas so please consider this example write a recursive formula for the arithmetic sequence negative 18 negative 7 4 15 26 let's apply the two steps first term is given as negative 18 and now let's find the common difference common difference can be found by subtracting the first term from the second term second term is negative 7 and first term is negative 18 so what would be the difference it would be just 11 positive 11 all we have to do is substitute the initial term a1 and the common difference d into the recursive formula for arithmetic sequences here is the formula replace d by 11 so this is the recursive recursive formula for the arithmetic sequence given in this example so we can uh, we see that the common difference is the slope of the line formed when we graph the terms of the sequence so you can try graphing the sequence and let me know your results in the comment section your graph should show the growth pattern of the sequence with the constant difference of 11 units okay at this point you will get a question in your mind do we have to subtract the first term from the second term to find the common difference actually no we can subtract any term in the sequence from the subsequent term it is however most common to subtract the first term from the second term because it is often the easiest method to find the common difference it is not necessary that you should pick only the first two terms hope you are clear with these examples ok now let us discuss one example and know how to find the number of terms in an arithmetic sequence explicit formulas can be used to determine the number of terms in finite arithmetic sequence we need to find the common difference and then determine how many times the common difference must be added to the first term to obtain the final term of the sequence so we are going to follow three steps to find the total number of terms given the first three terms and last term of a finite arithmetic sequence steps are a first step is to find the common difference d and then second step is to just substitute the common difference d and the first term from the given sequence into this formula a n equal to a1 plus n minus 1 d so we have plugged in a1 in this step d in this step and in the third step we are just going to substitute the last term a n and solve for a n so these are the three important steps in finding the number of terms in an arithmetic sequence you will get a clear idea while we discuss an example here is an example let us find the number of terms in the finite arithmetic sequence 8 1 negative 6 2 negative 41 so what is the common difference here what is the relationship between these two 1 minus 8 is negative 7 negative 6 minus 1 is negative 7 so the common difference is negative 7 here and the first term is a1 which is equal to 8 and the last term is negative 41 let us plug in all these three information in the formula and solve for n here is the formula substitute all these three values replace d by negative 7 a1 by 8 a n by negative 41 distribute negative 7 here and combine all the like terms and we are going to isolate n on one side of the equation and numbers on the other side of the equation I get n is equal to 8 you can try these steps and check whether you are also getting n is equal to 8 so please let me know your feedback after solving this example in the comment section therefore for this example there are 8 terms in the sequence because n is equal to 8 hope you are clear with this example in case if you are getting any query regarding the 3 topics that we discussed in this video how to write the explicit formula how to write the ex recursive formula and how to find the number of terms in an arithmetic sequence please let me know may also get application problems with arithmetic sequence so just word problems you have to read the questions twice or thrice and then you can identify the given information and what question they are asking so just plug in the values and solve for the required thing the concept is very simple in case if you get any query regarding this topic please let me know in the comment section